really have sort of uh, followed the games from the beginning. They've come on so much, it's really good to see. You can see in the game that huge amounts of effort goes into making it like the film. The team works very closely with the movie makers. What that relationship gives us is an ability to make a movie game that's so authentic. Particularly around Hogwarts, you really get a sense of the castle, the space. They give you a sense of the time of day. Not only can you play the game as Harry running through the castle, but you can also stop and look around. It's probably the most complete castle we've built yet. When you're playing the game and you see you know, Ginny as a character in computer form, it's so real. I think how they've developed it is so, it's so amazing. They're starting to look a lot scarily a lot like us now. Like all the moles and stuff, you can yeah. see it, it's really weird. It's like looking in a mirror because it is just so, like, perfect. When I first saw the video game characters, I was so impressed. The appearance and the likeness, I was just blown away. The characters in the game now actually deliver performance. That way we can tell the story and all the emotions of the story in a much more concise manner, I think. Using various technology that I will never understand, they have somehow managed to take my face and a performance and transpose it onto the screen. It's a very important thing that we can have characters that are believable. We want them to have feeling to put that across in the game. You've been invited to join the Gryffindor Dueling Club. I love dueling. It's so much fun just, you know, throwing spells at your opponents. What's great is that when you play that, you know, there is a huge amount of ducking and diving and it's very fast paced. There were certain points in the game where you'll have to come and play in the dueling club and that'll be all part of your mission. If you're really into the fighting, then you can come and test out your combat, have little challenges. I dueled with Tom Felton and I beat him three times. I'm, I'm sure that someone taught him some moves that I didn't know. So here I was sort of flapping my arms about endlessly and he was just doing a little side thing. And you swish to the, down to the left and it, it kept like taking half his life and then <laughs> another half and then that was it. <laughs> so there will be a rematch, mark my words. Time and potions wait for no man. Because potions are obviously so important to the plot in this film, you can pour ingredients in yourself and you can stir them and fan the flames underneath the cauldron. We had to wave all the fire up and sort of mix it around. I did it really well the first time, the second time I failed the task. The kind of concocting of all these different things, I think that's brilliant fodder for a game. Being able to actually have a cauldron in front of you and use ingredients such as armadillo bile and other revolting things, the fans will love it. We're using the great themes of the story in the movie to make great gameplay, especially where Ron gets given uh, a love potion and Harry has to try and get him to the potions classroom. On the way, of course, he's trying to chat up every object in sight, both animate and inanimate. Romilda, that's a pretty name for a pretty witch. If I picked a favourite potion, it would be Phoenix Felicis because it's liquid luck. I just think having that, you know, if you're kind of having a bit of a rubbish day and you could just take a little bit of Felix Felicis and everything would be transformed to go your way. You think that would work? Ah, oh, yes. I have a feeling it will. Obviously, how could, how could anyone turn that down? If I could create my own potion, it'd probably be a rose-tinted eye drop, so that you see everything in a lovely glow. It would be Pestisidious, because that would, uh, that would be a potion that gets rid of mice and cockroaches in your house, which would be really useful, I think. And it would sell at like hotcakes in London. Not bad, not bad at all! This year is a really important year for Harry. He is the Quidditch captain. We've got him playing the Seeker in the Quidditch matches. It's kind of wonderful to be able to play Quidditch again without having to actually film it and be on a broomstick and endure the pain that that involves. I saw what the Quidditch stand is going to look like as well. It's going to be pretty amazing. How can you have Potter without some good flying? You know, there's no end to what we can do here. Fantastic! Some of the tricks and skills are pretty cool. There's lots of barging. It's quite physical, so it's going to be very like the movie in that respect. We get to give the fans the experience of what it's like to get to the Quidditch pitch. And then when they get there, they get to play Quidditch. It doesn't really get any better than that, I don't think. And Harry wins the match for Gryffindor! I think there's so much within the half Blood Prince that every, every moment within it will be so much fun to play on the game. It just seems a lot more exciting and closer to the film than we have been before. The thing I like about the games is, you know, it gives me a chance to feel like I'm really performing the spells when you have a reaction from the screen. It really does give you a full experience of the Harry Potter world.